2010 Prius Generation 3. If your car is throwing a P0B47 or a U0100 or a U0293 hybrid battery voltage sensor circuit low or no communication with the hybrid battery system, it very well could be this. This is your battery voltage sensor and these things can get fried. The pin, see if I can show it here, right there at the very end had some corrosion on it and I took this thing apart and right in here there was some fried circuitry inside this. I don't know if it was from some corrosion that was on there or if just some corrosion it got on here, but I replaced this, tested it out, and now it's working. So very happy to have found the problem on this. And where it's located is underneath this cover right here. You take this off and you use this to take out these uh, safety plugs. Then there's a few bolts that hold this down on here and you'll take off your battery connectors and underneath the black box underneath this panel, uh, you can get to the bolts that go to this. And I gave 50 bucks for one off of eBay, tested it and uh, works fine now. Um, all the dash lights on the car were lit up. I had a check engine light, check hybrid uh, system on the dash. The uh, traction lights were on and it was lit up like a Christmas tree, but replace that no more lights, no more check engine light. So I'm very happy to have found the problem. I'll let you see this, let you read the part numbers off of it. And you may show some other codes other than this. Uh, it may show up as a P0B4 something or other, like a different circuit low. I think this one was circuit C. There is like a B and an A. Uh, also, you'll wanna check for any type of corrosion underneath this panel um, too, cause that can also cause an issue. But mine was mainly this voltage sensor, replaced it, working good now. So if this helped you, drop a like below or a comment if you've got any more questions. Um, hopefully this can help a few people out here. Glad you got this fixed and found the problem. It's an easy fix. You can usually do this maybe 20 minutes.